have the Apollon wheels. It's a barbell. It's the most famous barbell in the history of strong men and strong women. Apollon liked to go to junkyards to see if he could find something that maybe he could lift and that other people couldn't. And he, he found narrow gauge railway wheels and uh, weighed 366 pounds. The challenge was having the grip and the power to pull it high enough to clean it. Apollon, he had these immense hands. He was used to that kind of lifting. He lifted it supposedly at all of his shows. As I've worked through the years on events for the uh, Arnold Strongman Classic, uh, one of the first things I wanted to do, I wanted to make a copy of Apollon's wheels because they're so famous, they're so tough to lift. I was curious to see what the modern guys, who were huge, bigger even than Apollon, to see what they could do with it. It had exactly the same dimensions, 1.92 inches in diameter. It was fixed solidly into the wheels. The whole apparatus had to turn. And so in our very first strongman contest we had in Columbus, Ohio, all 10 men gave it a try. Here he goes again. The only one of the 10 who really handled it with any ease that was Mark Henry. Mark Henry weighed 410 pounds that night. He had hands pretty much the same size as Apollon, and he had a prodigious grip. Down. Some of the other guys who had done a 500 pound clean and jerk on a regular barbell, they could not get it to their shoulders. And so this just gives some idea of what a prodigy Apollon really was. The Austrian Oak is the very last event in the contest. You have to choose to either do the lighter of the two logs, which is 385 pounds, or to do the heavier of the two logs, which is 430, and you get no safety net. But if you do the big one, you don't even have to worry about the small one. The big log will always beat the lighter one. Doing it last, you know, 9 o'clock, Saturday night, after everything else we're going to do, that 430 is still going to feel like a ton when you pull it in the lap and get it to shoulders. You can cry about it, you can complain about it, you can, oh, this and that, this is bad. At the end of the day, you still have to do it. Just go and do it, and if you succeed, great if you don't come back to the gym and train harder. That's a big log. And it's not an easy log either. It's, it's hard to balance. It's hard to hold on to. And that's two reps for Jerry. I personally was really excited uh, about the log this year. I put uh, literally a tremendous amount of work uh, into my log press. No matter if it doesn't favor me or, or not, I'm going there to do my best. One more for the win, Mark. One more for the win. You are in a 
attendance for the heaviest deadlift ever taken. Heaviest deadlift ever, 1031, is Jerry Pritchett from Arizona. The Rogue Elephant Bar Deadlift. Deadlift is the grown man lift of all strongman sports. Everybody knows what a deadlift is. The one that separates the men from the boys. And there's no cheating, there's no way around that. You just have to be strong. almost a foot longer than a normal bar. When it leaves the floor, you may have better be in control because you have that spring in it. That bar is, is different, way different than any normal bar. It, it comes alive. The new guy's been doing his homework. That looked like a toy. The young guy. The old bulls are coming up later, though. It's hard to say, man. You just have to go out there and do your best, you know. There's a lot of jockeying for position. People want to know what the other person is going to live. Sometimes it becomes a chess game. Due to my injury, deadlift is... Uh not my strongest event. That bar not only shakes this way, but this way. Half Thor, Bjornsson, the mountain. On the day, everything can change. We have to be flexible. We have to, you know, look at uh, the other guys, how, how much they, they are pulling. Well, Mark, if that doesn't send a message to the big boys, I don't know what does. Also, Jerry Pritchett is very strong. All right, here comes the man, Jerry Pritchett. 
This guy right here may be one of the hardest working strong men in the world. And as you can see, one of the best deadlifters on the planet. Brian is very strong in this. Brian's currently in first place with 20 points after two events. Obviously, I've, I've thought about this probably more than anybody and, and what I need to do strategically to win. I'm ready to do what I have to do. for Brian Shaw. My name is Hafter Julius Björsson from Iceland. Hi, I'm Jafar Sokaro. I'm from Canada. My name is Mateusz Ostaszewski from Poland. I'm Mateusz Bielszak from Slovenia. Mikhail Shivlikov from Russia. Jerry Pritchett from Avondale, Arizona. I'm Rauno Heinla, I'm from Estonia. I'm Dimitar Savatinov and I'm coming from Bulgaria. My name is Mateusz Kliszkowski, I am from Poland. Brian Shaw, USA. I'm six time Estonian strongest man. And I'm seven times Canada's strongest man. I hold uh, two world uh, records in the dumbbell. Yeah, Sam is Sydney Chalavik, Russia. I am three times Poland's strongest man. Back in March, I won America's strongest man. This will be my fifth consecutive uh, Arnold uh, Strongman Classic. It's first time on, on Arnold Pro Stage. You know, this is the final. This is uh, where the top 10 get to uh, come in and battle and find out who the strongest is. Still is the heaviest contest in the world. This year, events is much different than last year and two years ago. Looks like uh, a brand new contest this year. My best event this year would probably be the bag or bar. The throwing is a really good event for me. I think uh, 75, 80 pounds is possible for me. I was the only man to finish the last bag with, with weight, uh, weight 100 pounds. They put the natural stone inside, that's a really, really cool strongman event. We're actually taking it from the ground and putting it on our shoulder uh, where you have to balance it on your shoulder and then get a down call from there uh, for as many reps as you possibly can. A lot of guys might not get it, you know, or, I mean, hell, right now none of us might not get it. Ну что сказать про камень? Камень, конечно, это новое упражнение для меня. Немножко сложновато, но думаю, все будет. Okay. <laughs> I think only two person uh, take this uh, on the shoulder after Bjorson and Brian Show do this maybe Mateusz Kieliszkowski is very very hard but this is Arnold Classic Strongman is the hardest uh, competition in the world. I'm really happy to see Timber Kerry uh, coming back here without straps because I think grip is uh, one of the uh, most important thing to test in Strongman. Last time we did frame without straps I won it. Without straps uh, I can't lift because I don't have grip but but I don't other things I can do. It will be it will be good fun. <laughs> Deadlift is my worst event, so I don't know what 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 will be. There's been a lot of guys pulling big weights uh, coming into this contest, and I think a lot of people are really excited to see what happens on that event in particular. Thank God, the Apollo Wheels is back. That's my one of my favorite lifts, and uh, I look forward to seeing how these big guys handle that unforgiving bar. And this is my sixth time here. First time I've seen Axel here. And uh, actually, the first time I've done actual competition in a while. In some competition, it's allowed to put on the belt, and then I can jump and clean it. But here, it's not allowed, and you must put the stomach. It's more, much harder. But no, it's okay. I have stomach. <laughs> Brian Shaw, uh, Hafter Bjorsson, uh, Jerry Pritchett. Jeff Caron. You know, the level of competition, it's its always stepped up. You know, everybody comes here ready to rock and roll, you know, bigger, stronger, uh, more prepared. The young guys, they, they kind of like really are running around with a, like a deer in the headlights. So I, I would like to see one of them um, step up and uh, challenge for the title this year. I'm not a biggest guy in this competition, but I have a big heart. <laughs> The ten of us that are here aren't here for no reason. So, 
you know, you can't just put it all on one or two guys. It's, it, everybody here is tough. All winners from 2017 coming here to battle again and let's see who will win. It's a hard sport, you know, a lot of injury can happen. It's very hard on the body, but the strongest win all the time. barbell since 2008 and will still be innovating in 2028. In life, there are the strong will, the innovators, and the outliers. Those who turn right when everyone else turns left. Their passion is their compass. Their dreams, future stories to be told. It is this bold attitude that makes them legends. They weren't the first. And they won't be the last. For the past 10 years, in an average-sized American town, everyday American people have pushed a not-so-average-sized American dream. Each vision met with adversity, every trial reassuring them that their heart was right. And when the naysayers came calling, you can't do that, they responded not with words, but actions. And what started with a few people in a garage now rises one more icon of can-do, a monument to American manufacturing might. We are Ohio-born, American-made, 450 strong and growing. We are Rogue. our ally. The battle against weakness reveals perfection. Ours is a disruptive culture seeking to redefine strength, reshape nature, and restore American innovation. This is our code. This is Rogue. In life, there are the strong will the innovators, and the outliers. Their passion is their compass. Their dreams, future stories to be told. It is this bold attitude that makes them legends. They weren't the first, and they won't be the last. I've been called a rebel, an outlaw, a fighter. Fighting to become stronger, faster, smarter, better. Pushing my body strengthens my mind and my soul. I walk towards the fire. 
towards the fray. I walk towards the crucible. It is not easy. It will hurt. I will sweat. I will suffer. I will bleed and blister and bend. But I will never break. I'm never broken. This year, we're doing the, uh, the Rogue Wheels, which is a replica of the Apollon's wheel. First off, uh, Terry Todd found some wheels in an antique shop in California, had them shipped to us, and uh, we were able to cut out the old axles, and then we're replacing it with an axle that's exactly the same diameter as the original Apollon's wheels. We're going to bring it to 400 pounds. We're going to challenge the athletes. That's kind of been thrilling, too, to get Rogue's help with that. barbell since 2008 and will still be innovating in 2028. In life, there are the strong-willed, the innovators, and the outliers. Those who turn right when everyone else turns left. Their passion is their compass. Their dreams, future stories to be told. It is this bold attitude that makes them legends. They weren't the first, and they won't be the last. For the past 10 years, in an average-sized American town, everyday American people have pushed the not-so-average-sized American dream. Each vision met with adversity, every trial reassuring them that their heart was right. And when the naysayers came calling, you can't do that, they responded not with words, but actions. And what started with a few people in a garage now rises one more icon of can-do, a monument to American manufacturing might. We are Ohio born, American made, 450 strong and growing. We are Rogue.
name is Hafthur Yulish Björsson from Iceland. Hi, I'm Jafar Sokaro. I'm from Canada. My name is Mateusz Ostaszewski from Poland. I'm Mateusz Bielszak from Slovenia. Mikhail Shivlikov from Russia. Jerry Pritchett from Avondale, Arizona. I'm Rauna Heinla. I'm from Estonia. I'm Dimitr Savatinov and I'm coming from Bulgaria. My name is Mateusz Kliszkowski. I am from Poland. Brian Shaw, USA. I'm six time Estonia's strongest man. I'm seven times Canada's strongest man. I hold uh, two world uh, records in the dumbbell. Yeah, Sam is Sydney Chilavik, Russia. I am three times Poland's strongest man. Back in March, I won America's strongest man. Uh, this will be my fifth consecutive uh, Arnold uh, Strongman Classic. It's first time on, on Arnold Pro Stage. You know, this is the final. This is uh, where the top 10 get to uh, come in and battle and find out who the strongest is. Still is the heaviest contest in the world. This year, events is much different than last year and two years ago. Looks like uh, a brand new contest this year. My best event this year would probably be the bag or bar. The throwing is a really good event for me. I think uh, 75, 80 pounds is possible for me. I was the only man to finish the last bag with, with weight, uh, weight 100 pounds. They put a natural stone inside, that's a really, really cool strongman event. We're actually taking it from the ground and putting it on our shoulder, uh, where you have to balance it on your shoulder and then get a down call from there uh, for as many reps as you possibly can. A lot of guys might not get it, you know, or, I mean, hell, right now none of us might not get it. Ну что сказать про камень? Камень, конечно, это новое упражнение для меня. Немножко сложновато, но думаю, все будет. Okay. <laughs> I think only two person uh, take this uh, on the shoulder after Bjorson and Brian Shaw do this. Maybe Mateusz Kiliszkowski is very, very hard, but this is Arnold Classic Strongman. is the hardest uh, competition in the world. I'm really happy to see Tim Burkery uh, coming back here without straps because I think grip is uh, one of the uh, most important things to test in strongman. Last time we did frame without straps, I won it. Without straps, uh, I can't lift because I don't have grip, but, but I other things I can do. It will be, it will be good fun. <laughs> Deadlift is my worst event, so I don't know what, what, what will be. There's been a lot of guys pulling big weights uh, coming into this contest, and I think a lot of people are really excited to see what happens on that event in particular. Thank God the Apollo Wheels is back. That's my one of my favorite lifts, and uh, I look forward to seeing how these big guys handle that unforgiving bar. And this is my sixth time here, first time I've seen Axel here, and uh, actually the first time I've done Axel in a competition in a while. In some competition, it's loud to put on the belt and then I can jump and clean it. But here it's not allowed and you must put the stomach. It's much harder, but no, it's okay, I have stomach. <laughs> Brian Shaw, uh, Haftar Bjorsan, uh, Jerry Pritchett. JF Caron. You know, the level of competition, it's, it's always stepped up. You know, everybody comes here ready to rock and roll, you know, bigger, stronger, uh, more prepared. The young guys, they, they kind of like really are running around with a, like a deer in the headlights. So I, I would like to see one of them um, step up and uh, challenge for the title this year. I'm not a biggest guy in this competition, but I have a big heart. <laughs> the ten of us that are here aren't here for no reason. So, you know, you can't just put it all on one or two guys. It's, it, everybody here is tough. All winners from 2017 coming here to battle again and let's see who will win. It's a hard sport, you know, a lot of injury can happen. It's very hard on the body, but the strongest win all the time.
is the frame carry. All of these guys got here today by competing in the Arnold Super Series. They've competed all over the world. And without further ado, we're going to introduce these guys. Doc, you got something for them? Well, I think we can go through the introductions of, uh, after we can say a little shout out to some of the uh, great sponsors. Yep. I want to thank Rogue for everything they've done for us. Big shout out to Rogue. Go to roguefitness.com for all their products. I can attest that their barbells are the best. Um, they're anything you need for a CrossFit, strongman, powerlifting, Olympic lifting. They also have a lot of great videos. Go check those out as well. So go to the Rogue Arnold Strongman site. And also, also Rogue year, will be live streaming. Like most of the, everything that you see today is going to be live streaming the entire Arnold Classic. Uh, also, tomorrow at the Record Breakers, uh, you can go to it on the Facebook page and see all of the live streaming videos. So, Mark, you're going to be backstage talking to the guys a little bit too, right? I am. As soon as this event is over, I'm going to go in the back, do some online, in some live interviews, and then I'll come back out here and report and let y'all know what happened. Is that all right? All right. A few more sponsors, though. I want to thank Midway Muscle Technology for helping provide all the support for the Strongman Series, the Arnold Strongman Series. And also, we want to thank Ty Knudsen, his great company, x -Pol, a huge sponsor for everything that we do up here. And the Magnum watches that he gives every man in the competition gets a Magnum watch. Also, Royzo Grip Shirts that you saw yesterday in the competition with the Stone Shoulder. We'd like to thank them for supplying those shirts. Okay, I think we're ready. Well, before we get to, before we introduce the guys, right now the standings, Half Store Bjornsson is in first, Mikhail Shimnikov is in second, Mateusz Kieliskowski is in third, There's and a tie with Brian Shaw, Matisse Belsack, JP is in, in six, seventh, Ranu Hanonta, and Denmark Sabatinov is in eighth with a tie with Jerry Pritchard, and Matus Ozakowski is in, in tenth place. So without further ado, let's introduce the Giants! Okay, first up, from Slovenia, 25 years of age, six foot one inches, 330 pounds, Matios Belsak, Slovenia's strongest man. And next up, a man who leads little introduction from Iceland, 29 years old, 6'9", 430 pounds, the mountain, Hathor Orbiotsan! He's your current leader with 18 points overall. And next, from the, from the cradle of strongman, Quebec, Canada, Age 35, 6'2", 335 pounds, J.F. Caron. jean -Francois. Next up, Estonia strongest man. Age 35, 6 feet 1 inches tall. The lightest man in the competition at 300 pounds, Rauno Heinla. And yesterday, a man that caused quite a sensation with that stone shouldering event from Poland. Three times Poland's strongest man, age 25, 340 pounds, Mateusz Kaliskowski. And also from Poland, Mateusz Ostakowski. 27 years old, the lightest man in the field at 300 pounds. And next is our 
This is our guy, this American guy, Jerry Pritchard. 6'4", 375 pounds. And from Bulgaria, 36 years old, 5'10", 330 pounds. Miko Salatinov. And the defending champion, 35 years old, 6'8", 440 pounds, Brian Shaw. And from Russia, Special Forces, 35 years old, 6'1", 320 pounds, Mikhail Shivnikov. This is your field of strong men. They are ready to go. Gentlemen, let's do this. Doc, after yesterday, I think that for those of you that wasn't here, you missed the show. You missed the show yesterday, but I- Have you ever seen anything like that before? You know, maybe once or twice in the Arnold Strongman Classic, have I seen a performance We're lifting the stone? And I mean, that's a three times is not a lot of performances. But yesterday, the stone lift was one of the most incredible that I've seen. That was 410 pounds, and he put it on his shoulder. Matthias Kaluskowski put it on his shoulder four times. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, right now, if you look at the screen, these are the results from the first day, and we'll be doing the frame carry. It will be the next competition. All the guys are ready and warmed up. We're gonna make sure that we get out of the way and stand behind the white line so you can see. And we're gonna talk about this, this, this frame carry. So what's different this year about the frame carry than normally? Well, in years past, the frame, guys, y'all don't mind if we join you, do you? In years past, the frame carry, you, you've been allowed to use straps. So guys have come in and you see them hook in on the straps, sometimes even double straps. This year, no more straps. The guys will be trying to get up, this, up the ramp as fast as possible, but more than fast, they want to take short steps to be under control so they can make sure they get the highest finish. And I, I think, uh, so help, help.
innovating the barbell since 2008 and will still be innovating in 2028. Time, world's strongest man. I wanted to be a Viking when I was a young boy. Well, you couldn't press up my bar. I wanted one of those helmets with the horns on it. Okay, all right, guys. My fuse is ready. We have one ready. You can see him being careful with his hand hook. No straps. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 900 pounds. <laughs> Time is up. Okay, big round of applause. That was our first athlete, Matius Ostashevsky. Doc, almost halfway. Almost halfway up. Our, our next guy is going to be Jerry Pritchard from the United States. And that's a man with a strong back. As you can see, these guys are measuring. Let's give a big round of applause for the helpers today. Oh, come on now. They work harder than that. So, Mark, just imagine 900 pounds in your hands. Farmer's walk is hard. But not only that, You've got to walk up this ramp. And like you said, gravity takes over. Most definitely, the guy, all, everybody is going to have the same feel. So it's, it's not like one guy is going to have something different. It's right. not going to change. Right. So it's an even playing field. You know, there's, none of the guys are going to complain about it anyway. But it's always good when you're playing on the same kind of playing field. Right, exactly. So here we go, Jerry Pritchard. Well, Jerry's a big man with a great deadlift. I tell you what, I, 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 it's been a long time since I seen somebody. He looked like that he was running up there. That was fast. The judges are, are, are working it out to get the right time. Everybody has a time. And his time was 9.58. Wow. That's going to be very hard to beat. So, Mark, when you're doing this event, so your hands are your hands are on you, your, your back, your legs, do you feel it in your feet and your lower legs at all? You must. I mean, going up this ramp. Well, you know, anybody that's done any kind of stair climbing, after about 20 or 30 steps, you start to feel it in your quads. Your back is activated, so you're kind of doing like a straight leg kind of movement. So the, the quads and the back, heavily influenced. Okay. So next up is Dimitar Savatnov. Miko. Excuse me. Just got a, got a bust lock. 
We're gonna have to pause for a second. Having a little technical difficulty with the stage, so we're gonna with the with the ramp. They're gonna take the frame off and push it back together, and we're gonna restart in just a second. While we're waiting, Doc, when was the last time that you've seen a reaction from the crowd like we received yesterday during the Stone Lift? I don't think I've ever seen that. At least not here at the Arnold. I mean, we had we had some big deadlifts. We had some great uh, we had some great lifts with the uh, with the timber carry. But I think what people didn't expect was that we didn't expect someone to do it four times like that. It wasn't just that he did it four times. I think he handled the stone pretty easily. Yeah, I think that for for everybody that didn't get to see the stone lifting yesterday, if you can go on the live streaming for Facebook for Road you'll get to see one of the most incredible performances that I've ever seen. I, I've been a fan long before I was a competitor. And man, it, it made all of us, guys that are at a Hall of Fame level, just be put in awe. It's, it's, it's hard to even talk about. Like, so definitely go in. I love watching Stone and, Lifting anyway. For those that didn't watch, if you look at the monitors, I think they're going to play like a video. Just. Well, I love stone lifting anyway, so. They're, they're not going to put it on the monitor, but it's on the live stream now. So if you have your mobile devices, you can go on Facebook, on Rogue's Facebook, and they're going to show it over right now. Man, we're, we're going to have to get them to be able to put stuff on the, on the big screen next year. That'd be nice. I'd love to have people see that again today. Yeah, have some instant replays. Right, exactly. I think also just being there was a big part of it. That's why you don't want to miss any of the action for this Arnold Strongman Classic, ever. You want to be here for everything. As you can see, the guys are hard at work over here getting the frame moved so they can push this stage back together. You see one band walking up this ramp and you see a crew of five guys lifting this thing just to get it <laughs> just to get it fixed and I'm pretty sure there's some strong guys yeah and that, that's pretty self-explanatory that's right there because uh, you got four or five guys all lifters strong men and it takes them all this effort just to pick it up once these guys are bringing up out the carry. drill putting in brand new screws They're, they're, they're fixing the stage. I just wanted to let y'all get a little sound effect. Okay, that's called clowning. I'm going to stop. I'm going to get out of the way before one of them jump up on me. I'm, I'm, I'm an old guy. Can, can, you, can you say that again? I, I guess Pritchett just went that fast. When he slammed it in in the end, he pulled everything apart. Unbelievable. Well, you got 900 pounds moving as fast as he had it moving. When it hit the stage, it pulled it apart. I mean, that's that's incredible. So, uh, referees, are we ready? Dimitar Savatnov from Bulgaria. Dimitar Savatinov. Let's hear it for him. Holding on to this bar is very difficult. Well, that's pretty close to the first distance. Well, they're going to have to bring out the, the, the measuring tape to see how far he went. That looks pretty close. 
from the first distance from uh, Matthews. You know, one of the first guys to come out and congratulate him and pat him on the back was one of his competitors, Jerry Pritchard. You'll see a lot of that. A lot. Of, these guys are like brothers. They travel the world together, and they actually want to see each other do well. It's not. It's not like a competition that you've ever seen before anywhere in any other sport. Like this is truly a brotherhood. Because they want to beat each other only when their competitors doing their best. Okay, we're going to go to the judges. We're going to get a score so we can let y'all know how far the last. Fifteen feet and six inches, which already puts him in second. Mateusz Hazakowski was 14 feet and six inches. He's getting fired up. You have a greater appreciation for what Jerry Pritchard just did after you saw a guy that has a really, really good deadlift come out and was only able to go up to 15.6 feet. Round O'Hanlon's up. Come on, if you give him a little motivation, I think he can get... Being, being the lightest man in the field, this is, this is not to his advantage. The heavier guys, it takes to move the heavier implements. Big round of applause for Rano. So, Magnus, will you get a score with that? <laughs> so we gave Rauno a one, one feet two inches. Okay. I'll, uh... All right, next up. J.F. Caron from Canada, Quebec. Canadian strong man. He's from the French, French Quebec. The cradle of strongmen. There have been so many strongmen come from French Canada. Let's go. So they get a little bit of chalk and no tacky. Waking himself up, getting a little ammonia. The guys are not allowed to use tacky, which was a sticky substance that sticks the bar to your hands. There's none of that on this on this lift. Got time. You see a guy with a strong deadlift. Let's hear it for him. Okay, I think he moved up a little bit in the standings. We're going to see where this performance puts him. Looks to be a little bit more than Didmar 17 off. Okay, that was 18 feet 10 inches. That puts him in second place. Big round of applause for JF. Moving up to second place. Puts him in a high standing. Yes. And they, these gentlemen are fighting for points all the way. Next up will be Matthias Belchok. Slovenia's strongest man. You can see the care that they take on making sure that it's an even playing field. Steve Slater is sweeping it off, making sure that nobody slips or stumbles. There's chalk and little tiny wood fragments. They're just making sure it's safe.
He's getting the instructions. It's like a prize fight. The referee is letting him know what he can do and what not to do. There we go, Matteo's bell shot. Let's get behind him. Come on. For those that's in it for the underdog, this is the guy to cheer for. He's the lightest man in the field. Let's hear it for him. You got time. Let's go, get fired up. I believe you have to pick it up. You can't just slide it. That's the first. That's the first time that I've ever seen somebody try to do a reverse. <laughs> okay, but I, I think he was trying to slide it. I don't think that's the point. You got to be able to pick it up. Yeah, you got to be able to clear. Okay. Let's get a distance on that to tell you where he is. You saw. You saw the crowd cheer over here in the corner. The reason that they cheered, they saw. The defending champion, Brian Shaw, walked out on the stage. He's, he's surveying his territory. He's walking around it like an angry dog, looking for his next meal. So that was 13 feet, seven inches. That puts him in fifth place. Okay, next up, Brian Shaw, U.S. Brian, Brian wants to make sure it's cleaned off, where he doesn't slip or stumble. Clean the, the chalk out of the hand grip. One of the one of the harder things about the frame carry is if you don't get centered in the right point. It'll tilt right to forward to back. So you see the guys trying to find their place exactly where they'll have perfect balance. Once again, he's getting his instructions. He knows what he has to do. Jerry Pritchard has already took it all the way to the top. In a time of nine seconds and 50, 9.58 seconds. Time to step up. Get after it, one time. You can see his coach trying to get him fired up. He's got that ammonia cap behind his ear. Touch! I think he's wide awake. Right. What about y'all? Brian's wide awake now. Are y'all? All right. Just checking.
So now you're seeing how hard these guys work getting this thing back down. But one man brought it up. Five men bring it back. Yeah. All right, Mark, so far we've got Jerry Princeton at 9.58 in first place. Brian Shaw is in second place with 10.03 seconds. And in third place, it looks like J.F. Caron with 18 feet, 10 inches. So we got three. Dilmar 17 off, followed by Matt Taus Ostakowski. So we have three more competitors to go. Let's, let's hope that we can see something spectacular happen right now. Matthews Kieliskowski from Poland. Matos got a lot of athletic ability and speed, great grip. Very strong back. One of the, being the youngest guy in the field, he's got a long history ahead of him. A long future, that is. But uh, yesterday he made history. He really did. And he shows how strong his back is as well. And his grip. With a deadlift like Lee he has, this is one of the one of the events that actually fits into his wheelhouse. Right. So we're, we're going to look and see if he can get if he can get under nine point five eight seconds. That's fast. Let's let him hear you guys. goes down, it's really hard to pick it back up. Oh, most definitely. His, his grip is, is one of the strongest things, but it, it, it failed him on the right at the end. Yeah. Great effort, though. Great effort. So in second place is Mikhail Simlikov. He's the next athlete up. And uh, he also shouldered that stone as well. Almost had a clean up on our nine over here. <laughs> Human body next to the ramp. <laughs> I'm off duty, thanks. Well, we're, you're a doctor, so if anything happens, you, you know, you could patch him right up, huh? Well, I think if 900 pounds landed on him, there's not much you can do. <laughs> He's done. 900 pounds would squish you like a bug. It would. And I didn't study bug squishing in school. Y'all didn't know y'all was gonna come for comedy hour, did you? Sorry folks, the jokes don't get any better. All right, here we go. Mikhail Shevlikov from Russia. Currently in second place overall.
think he's good. Those that don't can't see up close. Mikhail Shivlikov of Russia. We're gonna have to get them to come clean up. We got a nosebleed. Every now and then you have a guy, the internal pressure of the lift sometimes busts a little small capillary in the nose, and that's when you get the nosebleed. But the guys are coming out with a chemical solvent, and they're gonna clean up the blood, and then we'll get right back to work. I think this is, while we're doing cleanup, this is a fine time. Uh, Mr. Shimnikov has uh, inspired me to, to give a shout out to all our armed forces. Uh, thank you very much on behalf of the Armed Classic and World's Strongest Men and Rogue. Uh, our we, we love our military and we thank you for the freedoms that you give us to be able to stand up here and do stuff like this. So thank you very much, all of our soldiers. If you see somebody, you shake their hand. That was 24 feet, five inches. This is a, this is a sport. So I believe that moves him up. It's not for the faint of Looks heart. like he's in fourth place so far. So we've had two people finish, two athletes have finished. Brian Shaw and uh, Jerry Pritchett. Jerry Pritchett still in lead with 9.58. And Brian in second with 10.03 seconds. And with 36 feet, three inches, Matus Keliskowski. Okay. Doc, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but the footwear changed. What happened? Yesterday you had guys wearing very hard bottom shoes. Oh, okay. So they can have a, not that much give. And you see the guys today, they have more like a, a sport shoe, like a running shoe, like a soccer shoe. So they can move their feet a little faster. So they can move and have a little bit more support, but also uh, some flexibility in the shoes so they can bend and go up this ramp. And currently in first place, Hathor Bjornsson. Several times, Iceland's strongest man. Valuable points. Here that he was moving a little bit to the side. 11 seconds, 11.8 11 seconds. 11.8 seconds. Wow, that's with a drop, too. With a drop. That's amazing. Third place. I don't know whose sandwich this is, but somebody, somebody left their sandwich sitting up here like, I won't take it. Is anybody else in here hungry? Okay, I'm not gonna give you this person's sandwich because I'm keeping it for myself. Big man's gotta eat. Again, let's give a big round of applause for this great road crew. Unbelievable crew. Steve Slater, Sean Slimmons, all these guys, unbelievable. A lot of hard work. You guys are now going to break it down. What's next?
life, there are the strong-willed, the innovators, and the outliers. Those who turn right when everyone else turns left. Their passion is their compass. Their dreams, future stories to be told. It is this bold attitude that makes them legends. They weren't the first, and they won't be the last. Average-sized American town. Everyday American people have pushed the nuts of average-sized American dream. Each vision met with adversity. Every trial reassuring them that their heart was right. And when the naysayers came calling, you can't do that. They responded not with words, but actions. And what started with a few people in a garage now rises one more icon of can-do. A monument to American manufacturing might. We are Ohio born, American made, 450 strong and growing. We are rogue. Common is our foe. Unconventional, our ally. The battle against weakness reveals perfection. Ours is a disruptive culture, seeking to redefine strength, reshape nature, and restore American innovation. This is our code. This is Rogue. called a rebel, an outlaw, a fighter, fighting to become stronger, faster, smarter, better. Pushing my body strengthens my mind and my soul. I walk towards the fire, towards the fray. I walk towards the crucible. It is not easy. It will hurt. I will sweat. I will suffer. I will bleed and blister and bend. But I will never break. I'm never broken. barbell since 2008 and will still be innovating in 2028. In life, there are the strong-willed, the innovators, and the outliers. Those who turn right when everyone else turns left. Their passion is their compass. Their dreams, future stories to be told. It is this bold attitude that makes them legends.
they weren't the first. And they won't be the last. Every trial reassuring them that their heart was right. And when the naysayers came calling, you can't do that. They responded not with words, but actions. And what started with a few people in a garage now rises one more icon of can do. A monument to American manufacturing might. We are Ohio born. American made, 450 strong and growing. We are rogue. What is going on, guys? I'm back here in the back. The guy for warming up for the deadlift. And I, I don't want to take too much of his time, but I just want to let y'all know that we are streaming live right now on social media. There's up to 100,000 people watching. Call your friends, tell them, look, you got to get on here quick. I got a nugget for you right now. This is a gold nugget right here. Jerry Pritchard, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I j Jerry just, and I don't know if you know or not, Jerry, but you just set a world record with the, with the, with the timber carry up the ramp. Uh, this is the first time with 900 pounds that somebody went under 10 seconds. I'll take it. I needed the points today. That was most important after yesterday. So if a world record comes with it, it's even better. That's awesome. I'm going to leave you alone. I just wanted to let you know. Thank you very much for the entertainment. All right, appreciate it, man. All right, brother. Like you, the, all the guys back here are like brothers. They support each other. They cheer for each other. They want to see records broken. We're going to go, and I'm going to give you all a look at the guys warming up. Right now behind me, you can see the strong man warming up, getting ready for the deadlift. This, the next event is the deadlift. There's no way around it. The deadlift is the true indicator of where a man's power is. You can bench press, like the bench. You can squat, love the squat. But the deadlift separates the men from the boys, and today, Let's hope that a world record gets broken. Let's go over here and take a look. Now, I know I'm a pretty face, but you don't want to look at me. You want to look at this bar. You can see all of the blue plates. Guys are starting off slowly. You got to take the time to just go to a maximum weight. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen just as much as you are. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of lifting as much as I am a lifter. So thank you very much, guys. We're going to go over here and see the crowd and see if we can see any of the fans and see what they have to say and seeing what you're seeing. How y'all doing? Okay. I'm going to go over here and ask some of the fans what they think about the competition so far. Did, did y'all just see the, the, the timber care? Did you see the timber care? What did you think about the timber care? I don't know. You don't, you don't know? 
Oh, uh, come on, man. You weren't paying attention. What did you, you think about the timber carry? It was pretty damn amazing, I gotta say. Pretty damn amazing. I tell you what, guys, we got a pretty damn amazing. So I think that's good enough. But thank y'all very much. We're gonna, we're gonna start bringing out the weights now, and we're gonna get ready. So I'll see y'all on the stage in just a second. Everybody knows what a deadlift is. The one that separates the men from the boys. And there's no cheating, there's no way around that. You just have to be strong. the floor you may have better be in control because you have that spring in it that bar is, is different way different than any normal bar it, it comes alive the new guy's been doing his homework that looked like a toy the young guy the old bulls are coming up later, though. It's hard to say, man. You just have to go out there and do your best, you know. There's a lot of jockeying for position. People want to know what the other person is going to lift. Sometimes it becomes a chess game. Due to my injury, deadlift is... Uh, not my strongest event. That bar not only shakes this way, but this way. Half Thor, Bjornsson, the mountain. On the day, everything can change. We have to be flexible. We have to, you know, look at uh, the other guys, how, how much they, they are pulling. Well, Mark, if that doesn't send a message to the big boys, I don't know what does. Also, Jerry Pritchett is very strong. All right, here comes the man, Jerry Pritchett. This guy right here may be one of the hardest working strong men in the world. And as you can see, one of the best deadlifters on the planet. Brian is very strong in this. Brian's currently in first place with 20 points after two events. Obviously, I've, I've thought about this probably more than anybody and, and what I need to do strategically to win. I'm ready to do what I have to do. Nine hundred and ninety one pounds for Brian Shaw.
is our foe. Unconventional, our ally. The battle against weakness reveals perfection. Ours is a disruptive culture, seeking to redefine strength, reshape nature, and restore American innovation. This is our code. This is Rogue. I've been called a rebel, an outlaw, a fighter, fighting to become stronger, faster, smarter, better. Pushing my body strengthens my mind and my soul. I walk towards the fire, towards the fray. I walk towards the crucible. It is not easy. It will hurt. I will sweat. I will suffer. I will bleed and blister and bend. But I will never break. I'm never broken. barbell since 2008 and will still be innovating in 2028. In life, there are the strong will, the innovators, and the outliers. Those who turn right when everyone else turns left. Their passion is their compass. Their dreams, future stories to be told. It is this bold attitude that makes them legends. They weren't the first. And they won't be the last. For the past 10 years, in an average-sized American town, everyday American people have pushed a not-so-average-sized American dream. Each vision met with adversity, every trial reassuring them that their heart was right. And when the naysayers came calling, you can't do that, they responded not with words, but actions. And what started with a few people in a garage now rises one more icon of can-do, a monument to American manufacturing might. We are Ohio-born, American-made, 450 strong and growing. We are Rogue. I've been called a rebel, an outlaw, a fighter, fighting to become stronger, faster, smarter, better. Pushing my body strengthens my mind and my soul. I walk towards the fire, towards
towards the fray. I walk towards the crucible. It is not easy. It will hurt. I will sweat. I will suffer. I will bleed and blister and bend. But I will never break. I'm never broken. same one every time okay what's happening guys with the one the reason that we're waiting is that chess game that we talked about is being played there are, <laughs> there are five guys back there that won't put that haven't put a weight in yet they waiting on the other guy to put a weight in <laughs> so it's, it's 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 a little little cat and mouse right now but we'll in the next three to five minutes, we'll have all of the guys' numbers in. But right now, they're kind of like, uh, you ever play chicken? You're just going to jail. Stop doing that. Okay, but that's what's going on right now. The guys are actually playing chicken. So they're trying to figure out who's going to, what weight you're going to put in so I'll know what to put in next. So we got, we got big, strong guys out here. Y'all, you know what I'm talking about. He's shaking his head like this. I ain't scared of you. So uh, Dr. Chan Todd pointed out to me that you can see in the corner of the screen, just like in a powerlifting competition or a weightlifting competition, that we have three judges and we get three whites or you get two whites. Majority rules. Everybody knows that system. So you can actually look at the red and white system. So you have to have a majority of whites to have a good lift. So two whites, good lift. Two reds, not a valid lift. So I think we're almost uh, ready to start here in a minute. We just want to build up a little suspense. Everybody's waving to their mom.
Welcome back. We're about to do it. You guys still don't have all the numbers in. We can't go until everybody puts their number in. I was just explaining that I wouldn't put my number in until everybody put theirs in first. And then, you know, sometimes it got to the end where they said, okay, you have to put a number in. I said, well, I'll put it in after they do all the first lifts. So I, I kind of, you know, a little intimidating, distracting, a little, little factor there. Dr. Bob, Dr. Bill, sorry, um, deadlifting in the, in, the, in the Highland Games, did they have a version of the deadlift in the Highland Games? Well, I guess you can say the Denny Stones were kind of like that. Right, right. The Denny Stones. And sometimes you'll have uh, stone carries, like we have the Loon Stone Carry, and, and you know, it's kind of like the Denny Stones, but no deadlifting, but definitely an exercise that a lot of Highland Games guys do. Can you, can you explain to the, to the crowd what the Denny Stones are? Yes, uh, there are two stones in uh, Scotland, and uh, one of them weighs uh, 413 pounds, the other weighs 321 pounds, and they're on rings. And just reach down and pick them up. 733 pounds, that's it. Well, today we <laughs> had uh, two people that are are definitely the people that are highly involved with putting the, the strong man together, Dr. Jan Todd and Dr. Terry Todd. And I, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to ask before I, I, I say this, but I think that Jan actually lifted the Diddy Stone. And I was right. Dr. Jan Todd was the first woman to lift the Diddy Stones. Right here in the front row. There's got to be somebody else that's going to do it, right? Another woman? Any other I, women going to lift the Demi Stones? Is, is there a woman out there that's going to try to lift the Demi Stones? Can, can we get somebody to get motivated, start training, start lifting some stones? They're heavy. <laughs> I will say this, a couple of years ago, we were shooting the film. She was still picking up one of them. She's over there grabbing them, just picking them up, showing us how to do it. We, we got a little time. We're going to explain. Uh, the guys are allowed to use straps to do the deadlift. But what they're not allowed to do is use double straps, where they do a figure eight, wrap, wrap, and hold the bar. So that's not allowed this year. So that's something that's different. When you have a bar that's actually at this height, this is a true deadlift bar. This elephant bar. It's one that I've never been able to lift on. I, I retired long before, but you can pull very hard. The bar will start, these plates will come off the floor, but this will still be on the ground. So you'll see guys, they'll, they'll get a pull going and they'll think that they're there, but the weight is still on the ground. So it's gonna be interesting to see who can adjust to that style. So I guess you have to be a little patient. You can't just rip it. Yeah, you can't just, this is not a rip and pull deadlift. Yeah, you gotta just get that force going. You gotta be patient, let it clear, feel the weight, and lock it out. That's right. But I guess in some ways, it's a little bit longer, a little more flexible. That might help if you know how to do it, so. Yeah, it takes a little practice. The guys are in the back, they're getting ready. Okay. They're actually exercising on the same bar that they're gonna lift on. Perfect. Yeah. And Steve Slater told me he can't buy this, so. <laughs> you, can't, you can't lie about the deadlift. No, no. You can kind of cheat a little bit on the squat. Oh, I didn't go deep enough. You can kind of cheat on the bench and get a little bounce. Deadlift, there is no cheating. You either pick it up or you don't. Magnus is shaking his head like, yeah, that's it. Get it off the ground. Oh, okay, let's we'll see where we stand. On the elephant bar? Did you ever get a chance to see us, us old guys, I, I say us, but we know that I'm not as, but us old guys, we didn't get the lift on this elephant bar, and I I, I, I hate it. I wish I could go back in time, get find the DeLorean, jump in there and go back, pick myself up, and bring myself back to right now, but that's that's not going to happen. But I, I, I envy these guys of being able to try and lift under the equipment like the equipment that road makes. All right, we got some numbers, Kim. Doc, Dr. Kim Beck with us, got some numbers. Did we get all the numbers in? Oh, 
It's still a chess game. That is, we got three guys. We got three more guys. They waiting to see who's, uh, gonna, who's, gonna, who's gonna flinch. Well, I hope they get them in soon. We're gonna get this started. The bar is ready. Show on the road. That's it. We may have to get some guys out here and actually start lifting before they put the number in. I think so. So do you think you'd be one of the guys waiting to the very end? You said that, right? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 there's many times that I competed where I would ask that the first lifter would go up. Get our first lifter out. We haven't seen the order yet either, so bear with us a second. Dr. Kim Beckwith is not going to play with him too much longer, I don't think. I think she'll get him out of here. going to go and put a foot down. I wouldn't mess with her. It's not going to be pretty either. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with her. It's kind of like, I, I, I know Jan is that way too. When, when Jan say jump, she, she, she wants you already how high. Right, exactly. The Rogue Elephant Bar Deadlift. Deadlift is the grown man lift of all strongman sports. Everybody knows what a deadlift is. The one that separates the men from the boys. And there's no cheating, there's no way around that. You just have to be strong. Almost a foot longer than a normal bar. When it leaves the floor, you may have better be in control because you have that spring in it. That bar is, is different, way different than any normal bar. It, it comes alive. The new guy's been doing his homework. That looked like a toy. The young guy. The old bulls are coming up later, though. It's not the same, man. You just have to go out there and do your best, you know. There's a lot of jockeying for position. People want to know what the other person is going to live. Sometimes it becomes a chess game. Due to my injury, deadlift is... Uh, not my strongest event. That bar not only shakes this way, but this way. Seven fifty-one. All right, we got our first guy on the stage. We still have three men that have not put their numbers in. Like I said earlier, sometimes the first guy will come up and you'll still be jockeying for position. Job. You see me? I'm over here breaking chairs. Give me a chair. Give me a chair. Oh, big man. That's my friend right there. He's the only guy in the building that can eat with me. Okay, I believe my juice is waving out. I don't know if there's something going on with his back or something. So no attempt. Uh, you, get, you get three attempts. I don't know if he's going to follow himself, but he failed at this weight, so. I think Montu is explaining what's going on to Mark.
Okay, so the next athlete coming to the States, Rauno Hanlon. And we're gonna stay at this weight. So first attempt, no lift. So Rauno Hanlon. Just bell shot. He's going to start with 370 kilograms, 816 pounds. Matthews bell shot. 370 kilos, that's 816 pounds.
Okay, the bar is loaded. On to his belt up. These openers are really important. It helps you know where you are. Come on, Matthews. Very All right, cool. guys, let's hear it. 816 pounds.
the charge for that now. It's coming up for 861. That's 390 kilos. 400 kilos used to be just the absolute. Inventory is extremely focused. goes over that, that's a $5,000 cash prize. Wow. $5,000 for one limb. Like you say, it's good work if you can get it. It's, it's great work if you it's can get it. It's great work if you can get it. It's not making me want to come out of retirement, though. <laughs> okay, who's going to be next here? The bar has been moved up to 886 pounds. There's Bell Tuck. We got 401 kilos. 401 kilos. 886 pounds. No matter how you say it, it is heavy. All right. That's bell song. Coming up for a second attempt. Come on now, stay behind. All the tails. Right now, he's being a bulletproof. Their mind is so tight, they're wound up and they're ready to go. Let's hear it for him, guys. Let's get his mind right. Russia. 
Black Beret, Special Forces, Soldier. He's also won chess tournaments, mathematics tournaments. Alan's a really strong, he's a really smart guy. Kind of like Conan the Librarian. You guys aren't catching my jokes, come on. Nine hundred and one pounds. Mikhail Shivlikov from Russia. First attempt. Russia's finest. in there. The bar goes to 410 kilograms. So we're getting a little bit of a chess match here, Mark. A little bit of a chess match. So he lifts 408 kilos. Now the bar goes to 410 kilograms. Six pounds. Sometimes you gotta go up a half kilo. That's it. But it's heavier, so there it is. Okay, round on Halo. It's hard for me not to get my, my mind it's start, it's starting to get into me a little bit. These weights are getting out of weight where you wanna you wanna go up there and tug on it yourself. These guys are getting fired up. So am I. I want to hear y'all. I want y'all to be as fired up as I am. Let's go. is taking the same weight, 410 kilos, 906 pounds. so you can make sure you can challenge. There you go. You heard it from Mark, and he knows all about that. So I'll get the poundage of the next athlete up. 
But that's part of the strategy. Mark's trying to put you into their heads. Help you understand what's actually happening. This will be a good time to thank the, thank the sponsors, Rogue. Also, Midway Technology. Okay, so uh, next, the, the weight is going up to 470 kilograms. That's 921 pounds. Also, Ty Knudsen. And Expo, a huge sponsor. Some of the greatest watches that you could ever get. Somebody, you go out there and check them out. Okay, Jerry Prince is coming in. 417 kilos. 921 pounds. So JF Garone's going with the same weight, 416 kilos. Sorry, 417. Strongest man, J.F. Garon. reminded by uh, Tim Boland that it takes 24 hours to machine each of these plates. Beautiful apparatus applied by road. Beautiful place, beautiful bar. Okay, what's the weight going to now? Okay, 420 kilograms. Hundred and twenty six pounds. First attempt for Half Door Beyonce.
926 pounds, an opening attempt for Hafthor Bjornsson. He's your current overall leader. You wanted him and he's coming to the stage. There's a warm up and then there's like. And it's good! There's a warm up and then there's making a, you know, a statement and then there's kind of just playing with the weight. The bar is going to stay at the same weight. Thanks, thanks, good job, guys. The crew is doing a wonderful job. Can we get one more round of applause for the crowd? From the crowd, the crew is doing a great job. Again, Mateo Spellsuck. Okay, come on, Matias. Let's get behind him. Third attempt now. Come on. Nine hundred and twenty six pounds. Oh, big round of applause, Matteo Spellshock. Great effort, great effort, super effort. To remind you, the athletes have 30 seconds to complete a lift, and you can see you can see that uh, Magnus for Magnus and our head judge had his hand still up. The bar is going to go up to 422 kilos, 931 pounds. Wow. Mikhail Shivlikov. His second attempt. These are valuable points. Let's get behind him. Gotta have this lift. Come on, guys, let's get behind him. Backing down, Mikhail's curling the top four. Martina Sabatina from Bulgaria. Four hundred and twenty-two kilograms. The last time he went to the bar was not limit. I think he's got a lot left. And it's good. 
Here we go. Nico, 17 up. 422 kilos. A real chess game is going on. They're changing the bar to 424 kilos. That's 936 pounds. Sorry for the glasses, folks. These are tiny little numbers. And my arms aren't that long. There's still a lot of lifting to be done. Don't go anywhere. We're just warming up. Okay. Round O'Hanla, this is his third and final attempt. Chucking for every possible point. This is the fourth out of five events today. Attempts. The bar will be moved up to 426 kilos. 941 pounds. Just to put this in perspective, the world's record for straw man deadlift was about 960, 970, and that was set in 2011 the World's Strongest Man competition by uh, Sadurnas. And now this is like halfway through the competition and we're still at that weight. So that's where we've come. Mikhail Sivlikov of Russia. Four hundred and That's a maximum effort. We do have a cleanup on our nine. <laughs> I believe we do. And that's the heart of a warrior. He gave everything he's got.
Okay, we have four athletes left in the competition. Next up will be Brian Shaw. Four hundred and thirty one kilograms, nine hundred and fifty one pounds. That's an opener. The big Brian Shaw. I know Brian wants you to get behind him. This will put him in first place. Let's hear it. Three white lights. That is good. Yes, sir. That was nine hundred. It's safe to say pounds. he's got a lot left in him. being set at 444 kilos. That's 981 pounds. So this is Jerry's second attempt. 981 pounds. Jerry is the record holder with the elephant bar. 1,031 pounds last year. And this is a Rogue Record Breakers event. So if you set the record, if you can go over 1,031 pounds, it's a $5,000 cash prize. And people say, well, you just lift the bar for a few seconds. Not really. I mean, it took a lifetime of preparation to get to this point. And all the opportunities that you had to capitalize on to get to this point. And all the hard work to get to this point. Steve Slater is making sure that the bar is set tight and safe for the next lifter to come up. 444 kilos. Wow. Here we go, Jerry Pritchett, USA. Here he is, guys, from the United States of America.
Okay. We're getting close to the record. It's, the world record is at 1,031 pounds. The bar is getting at that level. Four hundred and forty seven kilos, nine hundred and eighty six pounds. JF Garon from Canada. And judge is ready. Now the bar is going to be loaded to 458 kilos. Okay, we've done it. That's over a thousand pounds. That's a thousand and eleven pounds. One oh one one. Now we're starting a thousand pound club. We're also pushing for these points. You've seen him on HBO on the Game of Thrones as the mountain, but the man standing here before you today is Half Thor Bjornsson, the strong man. Let's see what the strong man is gonna do. Here. Ladies and boys, 
is being moved up to 460 kilos. Okay, 460, that's 1,016 pounds. You guys are watching multiple 1,000 pound deadlifts. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to let y'all know that the champ is here! Six, eight, 430 pounds, approaching the bar with no fear. champion here at the Arnold. I think I just saw the lion roar. I don't know about y'all, but I love this stuff. We're at thousand pound deadlifts one after another. Doc, there's a lot of things going on over here, but also out there in this, in this arena. And I'd like to say that I don't think there's nothing else more exciting than what's going on on the main stage. If you are around in earshot, I suggest you pull yourself close to the front and see these men lift unbelievable weights. Bar is going to be loaded at 463 kilos. 1,021 pounds. Seven time Canadian champion. Here he comes. Jean Francois Caron. Let's Don't hear it for him, God. This is over a thousand pounds. So y'all know that was a 20 kilo PR. Oh, 
It's something about the Arnold stage that makes you rise to the occasion. And today he just did. Mark, what's the wait on the, on the next attempt? We gotta be getting near the record. And then there were three. The bar is set at 469 kilos. Going to the bar from the United States, Jerry Pritchard. This is for a new world record. 1,036 pounds. If 1031 is the record, this is more than a world record. Oh. Big round of applause for Jerry. Great attempt. Great, Great attempt, Jerry. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention? We are going to 472 kilos. That's 1,041 pounds. So we're going 10 pounds above the world's record. And again, to remind you, this is a road record breakers attempt. So if he makes this, it's a $5,000 cash prize. But Brian Shaw has another attempt as well. This is above the world record. The giant stands to his feet. He readies himself. His third attempt. for doing more than the world record. 1,041 pounds.
at 474 kilos. The show is not over. That's 1,046 pounds. And that's for the win in the event. And the world's record. And the $5,000 record maker prize money from Rhodes. This is as big as it gets, folks. The chips are down. This is the heaviest deadlift ever done at the Arnold. There have been many, many great lifters come before and none has ever done this attempt. This is 474 kilos. One thousand. 46 pounds and you get to witness it and are you going to sit down and watch it are you going to stand up and respect the bar standing at 6 8 hailing from the united states of america the so much for coming out tonight we'll be finishing up with one of the, my favorite lists the Apollon's wheels Dr. Tide always said with the Apollon wheels very few men can lift it and no boys and there will be no boys there tonight so I will see you later on tonight
of pollen wheels. It's a barbell. It's the most famous barbell in the history of strong men and strong women. Apollon liked to go to junkyards to see if he could find something that maybe he could lift and that other people couldn't. And he, he found narrow gauge railway wheels and uh, weighed 366 pounds. The challenge was having the grip and the power to pull it high enough to clean it. Apollon, he had these immense hands. He was used to that kind of lifting. He lifted it supposedly at all of his shows. As I've worked through the years on events for the uh, Arnold Strongman Classic, uh, one of the first things I wanted to do, I wanted to make a copy of Apollon's wheels because they're so famous, they're so tough to lift. I was curious to see what the modern guys, who were huge, bigger even than Apollon, to see what they could do with it. It had exactly the same dimensions, 1.92 inches in diameter. It was fixed solidly into the wheels. The whole apparatus had to turn. And so in our very first strongman contest we had in Columbus, Ohio, all 10 men gave it a try. Here he goes again. The only one of the 10 who really handled it with any ease uh, was Mark Henry. Mark Henry weighed 410 pounds that night. He had hands pretty much the same size as Apollon, and he had a prodigious grip. Down. Some of the other guys who had done a 500 pound clean and jerk on a regular barbell, they could not get it to their shoulders. And so this just gives some idea of what a prodigy Apollon really was. How do you feel right now about how good your son performed? I uh, thought I'm very proud and I have no words. He said he's very proud, he has no words. But I, I tell you what, I, I have some words. I mean, y'all just saw me do a, the Apollo Wheels, and there's very few times that I've been this excited. And uh, I, I'm there right now. Hopefully, we can get. The, the, the mountain to come stand next to me. I'm, I'm a molehill next to the mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, Half Thor Bjornsson. Uh, I'm, uh, I've never seen a deadlift where somebody was able to pull so easily the world record. That's the easiest world record pull I ever saw. So I, I think that he had another eight to 10 kilos left in him. I want to know what you think. Yes, definitely. That's, that's great. Came uh, very smoothly uh, from the ground. So, yeah, uh, I mean, I believe, you know, at least 8, 10 kilos was uh, in the tank more yeah. today, for sure. Uh, I, I mean, the deadlift, I said earlier that the deadlift is a true testament of a man. And today you set the standard for manhood. I'm very proud to be a lifter and stand next to you right now. I mean, it's, I'm highly honored. And uh, I can't wait to see what's going to go on tonight. Dr. Todd is standing here. He said that very few men and no boys can lift the Apollo wheels. How do you feel about your chances with the Apollo wheels tonight? I've been training at the Apollo wheel very hard upcoming to this competition. Uh, and I did, I trained it heavier in training and you know so I'm, I'm feeling very com confident going into the last event with uh, three and a half points leading Grand show so uh, I mean I I'm feeling very confident at the moment but of course you have to go to each event uh, focused and you know do your job 100% well go get some rest get some fuel in you get some food and get some water in you so we can get the best result we can out of you tonight. Thank you.
Yeah, man, unbelievable. Lady, Dr. Todd has got something to say. And that is that th this is good. Mark was a great deadlifter in his day, and you're a great deadlifter now, but in my day, when I really felt it, you know, I was having a good day, I would put the weight you had on and add the weight that he had on, and I would give it a shot. He, Dr. Todd would give it a shot, but we would have to call an ambulance because it would rip him in half. We'll see y'all tonight at the final with the Apollo Wheels. All the fans that are watching out on Facebook and all forms of social media, thank you very much, and we'll see you tonight.